This is your boy Nose Gamer guys. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about team of the season, uh, the market crash. We're gonna be talking about investments you can make, and we're also gonna be talking about um, these two new uh, SBCs that we got out: the Sala and the Sane uh, Play of the Year SBCs, guys. If you are new to the channel, guys, <clears throat> this whole channel is based on trading, guys. So if you wanna learn the best trading methods, if you wanna learn um, how to trade, if you wanna learn good FIFA 18 sniping and mass bidding filters, or if you just wanted to see good FIFA 18 and Fortnite content guys subscribe to the channel hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video smash that like button guys let's try to get 30 likes on this video guys share the video with anyone you know who, who's having questions about team of the season and also guys check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash nose gaming the link is in the description I stream two times a day you can come in there ask me any questions watch the streams enjoy the streams even uh, play a little bit of Fortnite or challenge me in a game of FIFA with me um, and also guys check me out on Twitter at Nails Gaming. The link is in the description. You can DM me on there anytime if you have any questions, guys. And also guys, um check out my vlog entertainment and prank channel. That channel link is in the description. We're gonna be getting out some funny pranks and, and vlogs and stuff here soon. So that channel link is in the description as well. Hit that channel with a subscribe. Make sure y'all stay and watch the end of the video so y'all don't miss anything. But we're gonna get straight into the video for today, guys. So first off, we got these two new um player of the year players last night. Um, so basically, um, I, my, my best advice here with these guys is I wouldn't really do these player of the year cards simply because these cards are, are going to be the same exact card as their team of the year or team of the season guys. And the team of the season is going to be tradable and cheaper. Um, cause Sala's like a million coins right now. Sane's like, I think 700,000 coins right now. And that's just too high. This is too astronomically high. Um, for an untradable card that's going to have a, a tradable card of the exact same stats soon. So Salah, his card is going to his team of the season card is going to be like seven hundred thousand coins. Sane's will probably be three or four hundred thousand, and they'll actually be tradable. So I would not really do these play of the month or play of the year cards. But if you are going to do these cards, guys, I did um, do a uh, like a I, sh I should say I completed them. Um, I did a video and I completed both of these um, SBCs for as cheap as possible. It's really cheap. Um, but the, the, really the cheapest way you can do it I, I did them for both spent uh, like three or four hours on it so you can go check out that video I'll, I'll make sure to drop that link in the description but guys these SBCs have made the market um, a little bit topsy-turvy guys like a few players have risen in price um, and but they're, they're gonna go back down uh, in, BPO informs have went up a little bit informs in general have, have spiked a little bit simply because you needed informs to complete these SBCs and people were trading and doing a bunch of things with the informs and so that is why those informs that's why informs have went up a little bit um, also guys I mean Chelsea players have went up a bit Roma players have went up a bit Florentina players so you can really try to snipe um, Florent if you really want to guys you can snipe Chelsea Florentina Roma players and you can also snipe um, uh, even a few Egyptians guys as well and then you can on, on the other hand you can snipe some mass uh, some Man City players Shaka players and, and even some Germany players guys because those cards are are being um, are, are, are a little bit higher in price right now just because um, of those of these SBCs guys um, but I really wouldn't do these SBCs like I said they're just too too expensive um, to be untradeable but guys what we're going to do is we're going to first talk about uh, let's talk about building your team for team of the season first um basically guys what i would tell y'all to do um for building your team my best advice would be build your team during bpl and la liga team of the season that is just plain and simple that is going to be the the um that's that's going to be the time the market's at the lowest because those are the two biggest team of the seasons guys really bpl team of the season is a really big one and la liga is a really big one as well so you should be safe if you buy um your team anytime after those two s or like if you buy your your team like during like say for example friday the bpl like one friday the bpl team of the season comes out you buy your team that friday when the market is at is lowest and then i mean a few weeks later la liga if you don't buy your team during the bpl you buy it during la liga um so you should be good as long as you you buy your team during them uh, but just keep in mind guys any car you buy from here on out is really going to drop in price um with the exception of informs they're going to rise and then they're going to drop rise and then drop again and then also, guys, um, team of the season cards, they're going to drop and then they're going to rise um, eventually a little bit more. And then also team of the year cards, guys, they will they will drop a little bit and then they will rise um, again because they're the best cards in the game. And there will be no cards that will be better than those cards. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to take a look at – let's take a look at some cards, guys. Like, for example, Ronaldo a few weeks ago, guys, he was like – 
I think Ronaldo was like 800 or 890k. Um, I did a, like a, a market crash video a few days, or, yeah, a few days ago, and he was like 890k. As you can see, guys, he's already dropping. He's at 830k right now, guys. Under under 840. I mean, he's at 830k. So that's just an example of um of him. He's gonna crash. He's gonna probably be 700, 600,000 coins um during when team of the season hits. Um, so like I said, guys, the things you can do to stack up coins and trade and help y'all make coins during team of the season, guys, is informs. Um, informs are always a safe investment, guys. But the way you got to do it is you got to buy informs from the current team of the week and hold them for five to ten days. Like, for example, guys, um, Wagner, Giroud, um, I would even say Volan's a good one, Castillo's a good one. Um, a lot of these informs are good investments, guys. And I do do a team of the week um, investment guide every week. So if you want to go check out that, that video from, from this team of the week's uh, investment guide, guys, that link will be in the description as well, guys. So um, subscribe to the channel, and I will be doing a Team of the Week investment guide for y'all every week to help y'all invest in these Team of the Week cards. You can make five to ten, sometimes even fifteen thousand coins per inform, guys. I mean, and also a general rule of thumb is to invest in the marquee matchups, guys. Um, every week I, I do a, a marquee matchup investment guide, and you can also snipe once the marquee matchups do come out. You can snipe um, and mass bid on these marquee matchup players and, and flip these cards, make five hundred to a thousand coins profit. Per card on these as well you can also do these SBCs guys like you get a jumbo premium gold pack um, premium gold players pack and and especially with team of the season coming guys um, these packs will be very very handy so doing the marquee matchups is important because you can pack a team of the season card which I mean can make you a lot a lot of coins guys and then also guys we're gonna be getting we're gonna be getting a lot of SBCs throughout team of the season guys and we're gonna be getting team of the week SBCs for sure I can guarantee you that right now and I mean, what is the biggest thing to invest in for Team of the Week SBCs? Is Team of the Week players and 83 and 84 overall gold cards, guys. Like simply enough, like 83s, um, like Somar, um, Pepe Reina, Lopez, Snyderlin, Garay, Ruli, Casillas, Kagawa, Valero, Howardus, and Dose. Those are all. These cards are all going to be really, really valuable. Um, I would not invest in these cards unless you can get them for under 1,500 coins right now. But when Team of the Season drops this Friday, start looking to pick up some of these cards for cheap, guys. Um, because when Team of the Season comes out Friday, people are going to be starting already to rip packs. And these cards are going to go down. But I wouldn't wait too long. I, I will say comf confidently, guys, I don't think the Team of the Week SBC will come out and for at least another one to two weeks, guys. So you have another one to two weeks to try to get these cards for as cheap as possible. I would say 83s, try to get them for 15, 1400 coins or less. And then also, guys, 84s, guys. Um, let's look at 84s. I think I, I would say 84s, 36, 3700 or less, guys. Um, but 84s like Falcao, Bruno, Farman, Adiriz, Asenho, Burkai, Horn, and Silva. These are the best 84s. They're a little bit inflated right now simply because of the, that Sala and Sane SBC, guys. So I wouldn't invest in these cards right now. I would wait until, like I said, the, the, the kind of the market settles down from those two new player SBCs. And then also when Team of the Season drops this Friday, start looking to pick up these cards for like 35, 3700. Um, I mean, you can try to win on the bid right now for 35, 3700. But anything under that price would be good because 83s, guys, they will go up to at least, um, 83s will go up to around four, th anywhere from th 3500 to 4K, maybe even five. And 84s will go up anywhere to 5.5 five to maybe even 7K. So in those price ranges. So you're looking to make a couple thousand coins profit per card on those 83s and 84s, guys. And um, as far as uh, man the matches also, guys, man the matches are always good investments, guys. Simply because there's not a lot of these cards packed. There's a low, low number of these cards that are packed. And so anything that doesn't have a bunch of supply on the market um, is a good um, investment guys really the only uh, there's only a few man of match cards that I would say invest in first of all there's this Marlos dude let's see if we can find him Marlos um, he has a new man of match that's out right now um, and the important thing is guys always remember to buy these cards when they're in packs because as soon as they leave packs they're gonna be uh, very very expensive um, but Thursday after um, foot chance rewards start looking to pick up these cards like Marlos he's like 49,000 coins 50,000 coins on PlayStation 55 on Xbox. I look to pick him up for anything around 45 to 50k on place on Xbox, 40 to 45k on PlayStation. Um, and I mean that's really that's really the only man of match I would look to invest in. I mean there's Mbappe, but I wouldn't really invest in Mbappe simply because I mean first of all he's gonna get a team of the season here soon. 
Um, but I mean, that, that really doesn't matter. But the whole thing with Mbappe is he's so expensive. Like Mbappe and Thomas Mueller, those are really the big boy uh, man and match cards, but they're really, really expensive. Um, and so I don't, I generally don't like telling y'all to invest in, in these really expensive man and match cards and informs because of the tax and you're going to, they're not going to go up just an astronomical amount. They'll go up maybe 30 K. And if they go up 30 K, I mean, you, and you sell them for, I mean, 300, I mean, you're only going to make 15,000 coins and you could have invested 300,000 into some other informs or some other special cards and made a lot more co coins. So I, I just don't like putting a lot of coins into one investment, especially one that you're not going to make a ton of coins back from. But, I mean, there is, um, like, Coates. I mean, Coates, if you look at this Coates dude, he, he might be a good investment, guys. Um, he has a man to match out right now. And, I mean, look, 84 overall, he's, like, maybe, eh, let's see what he is. He's 15,000 on PlayStation, 15,000 on Xbox. So maybe if you pick this guy up for 12,000 uh, coins, he might go up to 16, 17,000 coins, guys. I mean, that's five to 7,000 coins profit per card, somewhere in that price range. Um, you'll be able to make your profit on him. And then, I mean, really, that's about it, guys. Um, there's this Lucas guy. We'll also take a look at his his uh, man to match. I don't even know how to spell his name. Lucas, wait, what is his name? Here, This Lucas guy right here, guys, he has a man to match card that's out right now. And it, his card is uh, 23,000 on uh, PlayStation, 24,000, 25,000 on Xbox, guys. I look to pick them, this guy up if you're on Xbox, anywhere around 18 to 20,000 coins. And if you're on PlayStation, anywhere around, um, I'd say, 18 to, to 20,000 coins as well, guys. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's me, Boy Nails Gaming. I'm out. Peace out.